What is up guys, this is B Bricks here from the Brick Duel, back with another video. Today we have some news coming from LEGO Ideas. We have the third wave of 2019 LEGO sets reviewed and there is going to be three new sets coming out and I'm a little bit surprised by one of these. Two of them I, I think were, I think mostly predicted, but one of them I'm very surprised. So we're just gonna ahead and get right into it. Okay, Bricks, what do you think about the first one? So the first one is the uh, Home Alone house and I think this is an awesome idea. I'm a real big fan of the uh, dollhouse style Lego sets. Um, some of the ones I really like are the, the Simpsons ones, and this one kind of reminds me of that. And I think it would be really cool to uh, be able to put up some of the scenes and traps from the Home Alone movie into the house. If they integrate that well, it could be a very cool set. I will say that the house itself is a little bit plain, just the nature of what the house is, but I think the interior could be very cool. And I like the idea of this set coming out maybe around Christmas time or something like that. I think it could be a real big seller. It could definitely be a good like $200 set too for mm -hmm. maybe adults to get for Christmas and things like that. I think it'll sell pretty well. I, w I would expect it to be 200 maybe even 250 Yeah, 250 it could be. I think it'll be around that 2500 piece range. So it just kind of depends on what they're going to charge for it. All right, and next up, I think we have probably one of the most predicted ones, uh, as long as they had the license for this, which it seems like they got. This is going to be Seinfeld 30th anniversary, and we've sort of got a lot of these uh, scenery sets, I will always say, for movies recently. Obviously, we have the Friends set that has been super popular, one of the best-selling sets, um, I think, currently out right now. It's been out of stock quite a lot, and I know LEGO stores are having trouble uh, keeping it in stock and meeting the demand, so... I'm not surprised with this one. Again, I think this would be a good set, good bang for your buck set. Mostly, you know, you're going to be in it for the minifigures and just sort of having a, a fun set to build. And this might get people into Lego who might have not bought this um, otherwise, just fans of the show. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Personally, not going to buy it, but I could see it just being, well, a good set for the brand. All right, and now we probably have the most surprising one, in my opinion. This is the Lego typewriter. Any thoughts on this, K Briggs? Yeah, this one, this one's not, not a great set in my opinion, you know, it's just, a typewriter is cool because the way it functions, and for this to be able to function, it's going to have to be, I mean, it'd have to be a 3,000 piece set or something like that, so I just don't see it working like that, I feel like it's going to be a mostly static model, I believe there'll be some motion in it, but I mean, the keys aren't going to press down the key for it to, you know, stamp the Lego, or any like the, uh, you know, the Lego, like it would on a regular typewriter. It's not going to do that. I think it's going to be, it's just going to be something kind of boring to look at. In my opinion, I just don't, I wouldn't want that sitting on my desk really. It's like some people are kind of into the typewriters and, you know, things like that. But I feel like the Lego community is just not super into that. It's more of a, more of a younger audience, you know. So kind of an interesting choice there. Yeah, I just, I think it's going to be decently expensive and I just, don't see it selling well, especially if it's out at the same time as the the piano. I mean, the, yeah, I would much rather. I'm not even into pianos, but I'd much rather have a little piano instead of a typewriter. I yeah. feel like it just it's just a little bit more meaningful to most of the Lego fans. Yeah, I have a little bit of different thoughts on this. I mean, I get what you're saying about the display piece aspect of this, but I'm just sort of interested to see what Lego can do with it. I'm sort of the, sort of the same way with this and the piano. I'm personally not going to buy these, to be honest. But I'm just curious to see what Lego can do with this brick built structure, maybe incorporating some Technic brick or Technic pieces as well. So just from that aspect, I'm sort of just interested in this set more so than the others because yeah. I just have no clue like how it's gonna how it's gonna work really or how they're gonna really uh, incorporate you know some working mechanisms. So just just from that aspect, I'm interested. But I agree from a displayability standpoint, this and the piano are gonna be bottom of my list for sure it'll be interesting i feel like they will stray stray away from the actual fan models a decent yeah. amount on those whereas the other two i think it'll be pretty close exactly, to what it is yeah but yeah i agree i think the only one i could see myself picking up is the home alone and if it looks looks cool like the simpsons house that sort of sort of a lego set look then i'll, I'll probably pick it up but other than that that's kind of the only one i'm i'm looking at yeah same here i, I guess with the home alone uh, set i'm definitely most excited for too and just one final thought on that I'm sort of curious what kind of minifigure selection we're going to get. Are we just going to get the, um, you know, one one minifigure is basically like, you know, basically in the house where we have the two uh, the two thieves as well. I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping we get we get more, especially in probably a more expensive set like that. Hopefully more than the three I think people expect. So 
Um, that's sort of my lasting thoughts here. This is Brick Duo signing out. Yeah.